Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston and the International Space Station Flight Control Room. I'm NASA's Sandra Jones. NASA TV provides operational cover of all International Space Station launches in order to provide transparency and allow mission support personnel to maintain situational awareness necessary for safe and sustained operations of the International Space Station. Auto sequence has been initiated. We have a command for engine sequence start. We have it engine ignition, turbo pumps building up to flight speed and the second umbilical has retracted. And liftoff, liftoff of the Progress 81, its destination, the world's only orbital laboratory, the iconic International Space Station. Good roll pitch and yaw program reported from Baikonur. First stage performance reported to be nominal from the blockhouse in Baikonur. And first stage separation confirmed. The boosters falling away from the progress vehicle. The vehicle now flying on second stage engines. Continuing to hear good calls from Baikonur, now approaching 2 minutes, 25 seconds into today's flight. Three minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, five and a half minutes remaining of powered flight. The launch shroud has been jettisoned. Second stage shutdown and separation and the skirt has been jettisoned. Third stage shutdown and third stage separation. The next step will be the deployment of the solar arrays and the navigational antennas on the Progress 81. As you can see, the solar arrays now being deployed. And we are getting the first view from an external camera on the Progress 81. This is the same data screen that we'll be watching during rendezvous operations later today. Progress is now well on its way to the International Space Station. It will complete a quick two-orbit rendezvous with a series of pre-programmed engine firings taking place to help bring progress into the vicinity of the International Space Station.